There are a couple different cooking methods to make steak fajitas. In this video, I will show you one where you pre-cut the steak into strips, marinate it for an hour at room temperature or three or more hours in the refrigerator, and then you just saute it. You can also get the strip steak already marinated at any Latin American market. Um, they'll sell it right at their meat counter and it's usually pretty good. But um, there are other ways. So here you can see that I'm going to go ahead and cut it into strips and add it to my marinade. And my marinade is in the recipe provided. But another way to do it is if you take your skirt steak, you marinate the entire steak, and then you use either a cast iron skillet or a large saute pan, and you're going to sear it and cook it in the pan, leaving the middle like medium um, medium to uh, medium rare, so it'll have pink. Um, if you overcook st skirt steak, it can become really tough and chewy. So we want to make sure that we're cooking at proper temperatures. I prefer to sear it, um, but I didn't have s skirt steak on hand. Um, so I am just using a sirloin steak here, and I am cutting it up like they would maybe in a market if they're going to sell it over the counter with my marinade. So after letting your meat marinate, I'm going to go ahead and do this in a saute pan. I don't have a cast iron skillet. You could do that in there as well. But since I already cut up my meat, I can use the saute pan. I'm going to go ahead and have the pan heated up. I have medium to high heat right now. And I'm going to try to cook my steak as quick as possible, keeping an eye on it to make sure it doesn't overcook. And you can see the marinade is going to provide a bunch of flavor for it. As I'm cooking on medium to high heat, I'm going to go ahead and throw my peppers and my onions in there to add some flavor. If you don't like onions and peppers, um, I still suggest adding maybe a little bit to add the flavor, but you don't have to add a lot. I personally don't like peppers that much, so I will just pick them out when I eat them. But here I'm going to cook quickly. It doesn't take that long. Like I said, if you overcook, you're going to get really chewy consistency and not a delicious fajita you're going to be pulling meat out of your shell at all times there are a lot of recipes out there a lot of different marinades um, this is just like a lime fajita, steak fajita uh, recipe you can venture out use different things you can add uh, sriracha sauce different kinds of hot sauces to it to make it spicier you could add different kinds of latin american peppers to your dish to make it spicier as well or um, even taking some of them and making a different type of marinade with the peppers um, prior to cooking. So you can enjoy this right away on some corn tortillas or flour tortillas.